we are gonna look at a special car with a special engine the 2JZ Supra oh she's still a damn beauty so this is a really powerful car I am struggling my butt off to get a proper tune for it but I got it right but it's a bit difficult it's gonna take practice for you guys to get it right but don't worry I'm gonna take you guys through everything so I'll be sharing my drag tune of you guys so before we get started, we're going to quickly do a dino run. And that is a whopping 392 kilowatt and a 561.9 newton meters. This is really powerful. This is like one of the most powerful cars. So let's quickly head over to here. Before we continue, I actually decided to categorize this video into four sections. The first section is going to be me showing my tune to you because that is why you guys are here. Secondly, I'm going to show you guys a 400 meter run. And then thirdly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys exactly what I've upgraded in the car and how I have done it. And then lastly, we are going to do a drag race against other people. So let's quickly head to tuning and we are going to start at the drivetrain. So here is the magic source. I just want to quickly let you guys know that this tune is specifically made for the 400 meters as well as the Bayview drag track. So if you're going to try a different drag track and you're bombing out with your, uh, with your top speed, let's say your engine keeps on popping because you're reaching very, very high speeds, what I want you to do is actually just come here to top speed, just drag it more to the left, all of these numbers will go a bit more to the right, otherwise you can just take 6 a little bit more to the right, there's not a lot of room for it, but you can still take it a bit, maybe just take 5 and 4 a little bit, just trying to keep like a kind of a good straight line, you will be okay. Otherwise, let's quickly go to the suspension, so the front is all the way down, the rear is all the way up. This car has got a massive problem with spinning in first gear. So I had to go to the extreme, gotta keep that uh, booty up very high. So for the front springs and the front shocks, we drop them all to soft soft. And then for the rear, we can actually take this a little bit up. Sorry for this guys, I didn't like to actually do changes in videos. But this car, I did see it when I was practicing that it did bottom out. I think let's take it a little bit higher. So the reason was, was that the front suspension suspension was just so soft and it's also all the way down. So this obviously just made a car, and if it goes over a hump, just to hit the bottom and then just slow it a bit down. So I will show you guys now why I also took it up a little bit. And then for the sway bar, we got it at hard, hard. So going to aerodynamics, this is why I took it up. Like I told you guys, this car spins a lot. So we got to just increase the downforce a little bit on the front and the rear. And one sad thing about doing this is that it alters your top speed. To give you guys an idea, look at this top speed over here in 6 gear. 320 kilometers per hour. For a car with almost, how much, how much power did it have again? Let's see, it has got almost 400 kilowatts. It's actually very, very slow compared to other cars that is actually weaker and but can get better speeds. It's all because of this damn downforce. Going over the tires and brakes, we got it at max max. And for the ECU, if you guys have got no idea what's going on here, I actually made a pretty good tutorial showing you guys how this works, how to understand it and what to look at. <laughs> so if you guys are interested to see something like that, just hit the logo, oh sorry, the icon here in the top right corner. Just a quick briefing, uh, the first and second RP, uh, 1000 RPM, just drop it as much red as you possibly can. And for the turbo, take as much of the blue out here as you can, just keep it all the way red and shove all the blue here in the higher RPMs. For the nitros, you want it to be around 5. So there we go. So now that you guys have got to tune, let's quickly go and do a test on the 400 meters. So there is two ways you can launch this car. Either you're pulling away at max RPMs or otherwise you're gonna have to find the green area of a year where to launch exactly. So that is the one you wanna do. You don't wanna launch at full RPMs. Your car is just gonna, it's just gonna bog, it's gonna be bad. You gotta actually swing it up, hit the green marker and then quick shift, quick shift, quick shift all the way through. So let me quickly try to see if I can mimic it for you guys. 
Look at the RPMs at the top left. You see they're around 7,000 is green. That is where you want to launch. But there, it gets a bit more difficult. You're not just supposed to keep it on 7,000 RPMs. The time it says go, you got to be on an upward trend. So it's actually very difficult. This car is very difficult to launch, but it does really good time. So let's quickly try this out and see if I can get it to run down to 400 meters for you guys. And there we go. This was not a bad time at all. We got a 7.65. Let's go, baby. This is actually a really, really good time. And even the speed is actually not that bad. I push it all the way through till the winning line. I think, what, what did we get here? I can't even remember now. It kind of sucks that they don't show you here for the full track. But we did really, really good. A little bit. Uh, actually, it was a really good 0 to 100. 1.32. And in full of 400 meter time, 7.65. It's going to take a lot of practice. And you've got to nitrous in first gear and shift all of them perfect. If you miss shift one as in too short or over revved, your times are going to be crappy. So anyway, there we go. So what we're going to do now is my game just froze. Ah, no. So I'm going to quickly take you guys to the performance upgrade section and show you guys what I installed. Okay, let's quickly jump into it. So I don't know how familiar you guys are with how Need for Speed works with all the upgrades and etc. So you get three different packages. You get Stage 1, Stage 2 and Stage 3. So obviously Stage 3 is the best, but there is a catch to it. Let's quickly go to Stage 1 as an example. We're gonna take this in, well, this is like the entire package content. So this is a mild camshaft and cam gears. Mild means it's better than stock, but it's not the best, it's like in between. So if we go over to extreme package, as you guys can see here, we've got racing camshafts and gears. So that's a pretty cool thing about this game, that whenever you upgrade a package, it actually overrides the previous package if it's better. So if you only like, for example, okay, before I get into that, let's quickly look at another, another thing, for example. Performance exhaust is not installed. Why? Because we have got a catback exhaust system installed with a larger downpipe. So as you guys can see, stage 2 is also installed. No, I am not cheating. The reason why these are saying installed is because if we go to package number 3, there is literally nothing of an exhaust system. So if you just installed extreme package number 3, you would have had the stock standard exhaust. And literally, you wouldn't have a cold air intake system. None of the stage 2 and stage 3 has anything better than a cold air intake system. So what you want to do is, you want to install stage 1, then install stage 2, and then install stage 3. In this case, you want to do the same here. You want to install stage 1, stage 2, stage 3. For the transmission, you also want to install all three. For the suspension, you also want to install all three. For the nitros, this is just different ways you're going to inject your nitros. So the third one is the only one that's going to be the best for you. The tires as well, just install uh, the extreme tire stage three. For the brakes, you can install all three of them. For the weight, you can literally install all three of them. Look at this. Stage 1, Stage 2, and Stage 3 installed. And if you go through here, lightweight doors, foam filled interior, lightweight windows, lightweight seats. Remove rear seats, remove interior panels. So if you just installed Stage 3, you would have still had the heavy windows, the heavy seats, the interior parts, and the rear seats. So by actually installing all three, you are helping yourself out a lot. So for the turbo, install Stage 3. Okay, so let's quickly go and do a drag race. Oh my gosh, we are off and our bumper is in the ground. So our downforce is pressing it down, as you guys can see, sparks flying every now and again. I can't believe this. There we go, 23.76, we gotta lift this car up a bit, it's hitting sparks, 
is actually slowing the car down a little bit. But I want to show you guys quickly over here. Look at the race stats. Our top speed was 315. For a car that was what? Almost 400 kilowatts? This is really bad for top speed. But once again, it's because of the massive downforce. Looking over here, 318, 318, 320. So we had the worst top speed ever. So it's actually kind of difficult to get this car perfect. What you can do is, is you can actually take some of the downforce away and then obviously just lift the front end up or just stiffen, well, we already stiffened the front suspension a bit. Then what you can do is, is nitrous in second gear. So this is going to obviously allow you just to get a just to get past the traction part and then care more about top end speed but nevertheless i hope that makes sense to you guys i do hope you guys enjoyed this tune otherwise if you guys did enjoy it please make sure to drop a big like if you are still watching now i just want to say you are freaking awesome thank you so much for your great support if you would love to support a channel especially if you're new hit the logo at the bottom right corner to subscribe if you want to see a similar video hit the icon on the left if you want to see one of my most recent videos, hit the icon on the right, and I'll see all of you legends in my next video. But for now, peace out, everyone.